With more than 21 million Americans that could trace their ancestry back to Asia, at many tipping points in American history, unexpectedly, Asian American has been the center of these stories. Asian American story is very diverse and how we intersect is what makes America so special. Being able to know our history and being able to understand our history is important to, for us to not repeat it, but also pick out things that help us as Americans advance forward in culture and civilization and just to understand each other more. So in this video, we celebrate Asian American pioneers who became heroes. Anna Mae Wong. She is a Chinese actress from Thai Chinese descent. Born in Los Angeles in 1902, her career spanned it from silent films, color film, television, and radio. In 1934, the Mayfair Mannequin Society of New York voted her the world best dressed woman. As Anna dominated the Hollywood and fashion scene, she advocated for the voices of Asian American representation in the film and television. Dr. Chin Chiong Wu. She has multiple titles, Queen of Nuclear Research, First Lady of Physics, Chinese Marie Curie. She's a Chinese-American nuclear physicist. She moved to U.S. to pursue PhD at the University of uh, California in Berkeley. Dr. Wu played a very critical part in the Manhattan Project. She helped develop the atomic bomb during World War II. The Leap Singh Son, Indian-American congressman, born in India, started to contribute to the local community by being part of the political movement in Stockton, California. In 1955, he won a seat in the House of Representatives as a Democrat. This made him the first Asian American, first Indian American. He also is the first Sikh American to be elected into Congress. Dr. David Ho is a Taiwanese American. He is a research scientist and a virologist. Born in Taiwan in 1952, Ho moved to LA when he was 12 years old. During his time of residency in school, he came in contact with the first cases of AIDS. Even till today, he still is in the forefront of AIDS research and now the COVID research. Duke Kahanamuku is a native Hawaiian, a Olympian, a surfer, and a sheriff, and an actor. Hold up, is this the same person? It is the same person. Big name, the Big Kahone. He's a five-time Olympian medalist in swimming. He competed in the 1912 Olympic in Stockton, 1920 Olympic in Artwork, 1924 Olympic in Paris. He also was an alternative to the U.S. polo team in 1932 Olympics in Los Angeles. After his trailblazing career, he worked as an actor, a sheriff, and a surfer. He popularized surfing to the next generation of surfers all over the world. Peng Noor is a Cambodian American. He's a surgeon, an author, and an actor. Born in Cambodia in 1940, best known for winning an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in 1985 for his debut performance in The Killing Fields. He's the only actor of Asian descent to win an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. He's only one of two non-professional actors to win an Oscar. IMP is a Chinese-American architect. He moved to the United States in 1935 to attend the University of Pennsylvania's architecture program. He designed some of the most iconic buildings in the world, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum, John F. Kennedy Memorial Library, the Hubert F. Johnson Museum of Art. His design of glass and steel pyramid in the Musée de la Vue in Paris firmly established his reputation as the global visionary. In 1983, he won the Pritzker Prize, which is also known as the Nobel Prize for Architect. Do you know Jerry Yang? You should. He literally pretty much make up our life right now. Jerry Yang is a Taiwanese American who is a pioneer and investor in technology. He was born in Taipei, Taiwan in 1936. He immigrated to San Jose, California when he was 10 years old. He was famously known to drop out of Stanford University with his classmate, David Philo. He created an internet directory that we know now as Yahoo. Yahoo was known as Jerry's and David's guide to the World Wide Web. As the creator of the first internet portal, his role in Yahoo helped define how technology is in our everyday life. Since leaving Yahoo, Yang has become a mentor and investors into many technology startups. Joyce Chen, she's my favorite. Joyce Chen, she's a Chinese American chef and restaurateur and an author. Born in Beijing in 1917, her family fled China to Massachusetts. She opened her first restaurant in 1958. Joyce pioneered the all-you-can-eat buffet that we have today. She was credited with popularizing authentic Chinese Northern-style cuisine. In 2014, Postal Office issued a stamp to honor her accomplishment and lasting influence in American culture. 
Kala Pana Chala. You should know her name after this. Kala Pana Chala. She's an Indian American astronaut and engineer. She was born in East Punjab in 1962. She migrated to the United States in pursuit of her childhood dream to become an astronaut in 1997. On her first trip, she did 252 orbits around the Earth in two weeks. She served as the mission specialist and the primary uh, robotic arm operator on the space shuttle Columbia. She's the first woman of Indian descent to go to space. She's also the second Indian person to go to space. So she broke gender roles and she broke racial roles. She was one of seven crew members that died when Columbia re-entered the Earth atmosphere in 2003. She was awarded after her death with the Congressional Space Medal of Honor and several streets, university, and institution that have been named in her honor. She is regarded as a national hero in India. Even though her life was brief, her legacy lived on. Patsy Matsu Takemoto is a Japanese-American politician and attorney. She was born on a sugar plantation in Hawaii on the island of Maui in 1927. She is a third-generation Japanese-American. She pursued a law degree from the University of Chicago after getting rejected from 12 medical schools. She became the first woman with Japanese ancestry to serve in the territorial house. And in 1965, she won a seat in the House of Representatives. She became the first Hawaiian woman to be elected to the U.S. Congress in 1964. She's the first Japanese descendant woman, the first Asian American woman elected in the U.S. Congress. She served six consecutive terms under the Carter administration. She served as the Assistant Secretary of State. In her 40 years of service, she worked to amplify the voices of immigrants, women, and children. She aggressively championed Title IX. This brought academic and athletic equality to the American educational institution. Philip Vera Cruz, he's a Filipino-American, a labor leader, and a civil rights activist. He was born in the Philippines in 1904 and came to the United States when he was 22 years old. He worked on a variety of minimal labor and farm jobs, where he witnessed firsthand terrible treatment. He led the charge to improve the horrible condition for immigrants, workers, especially for Filipino and Mexican farm workers. He was also an influential labor organizer, farm worker, and leader in the Asian American movement. He partnered with Cesar Chavez, a Mexican labor organizer. They demanded better treatment that impacted thousands of farm workers. Tammy Duckworth, a Thai American. She's an army veteran and a US Senator, born in Bangkok, Thailand in 1968. A former US Army Lieutenant Colonel and veteran of the Iraq War. She lost both her legs and some mobility in her right arm as a helicopter pilot after her helicopter was hit by a rocket-propelled grenade fired by Iraqi insurgents. In spite of her combat wound, she sought and obtained a medical waiver that allowed her to continue to serve in the Illinois Army National Guard until she retired as a lieutenant colonel in 2014. She is serving as a U.S. Senator for the state of Illinois. She became the first Thai American woman, the first person to be born in Thailand. Also the first woman with a disability. Also the first double amputee to be elected into U.S. Congress. She's also the first person to give birth while in office. In 2018, her daughter became the first baby on the chamber floor after Duckworth fought for a resolution that allows infant in the room. The measure ensures that new parents serving in the Senate won't have to miss a vote. Yo-Yo Ma is a Chinese-American classical musician and performer. Born in Paris in 1955, raised and educated in New York City. He was a musical prodigy performing at age four. He was a graduate at Juilliard School and Harvard University from around the world, recorded more than 90 albums and received 18 Grammy Awards, including the Glenn Gould Prize, a National Medal of Art, Presidential Medal of Freedom, Polar Music Prize. Once it was named the sexiest classical musician by People Magazine. Yuji Ichioka. He is a historian and civil rights activist. Born in San Francisco in 1936, his family was relocated to Topaz internment camp in Utah for three years in World War II. He served three years in the military, earned degrees from University of California in Berkeley and Los Angeles. He founded the Asian American Alliance in 1968, helped establish the Asian American Studies Program in UCLA. He was largely credited for coining the term Asian American, which helped unify different Asian ethnic groups, such as Japanese, Chinese, and Filipino under a single self-defining term. He paved the way for the greater prominence or importance and understanding of people of Asian descent in the U.S. 
Jose B. Nipsburg. He's a Filipino-American, a war hero, born in the Philippines in 1887. Jose was a private in the Army's 34th Company of the Filipino Scout. In 1911, he was severely wounded while fighting rebel forces in the Philippine Islands. With only one hand, he fought the enemy with spears until they retreated, saving many lives whom he served with. He's the first Asian to receive the Medal of Honor, and he's also the first Filipino to receive the Medal of Honor for his heroic in battle. Joe Hayashi, Japanese-American war hero. Joe was born in Salinas, California in 1920. He joined the Army and volunteered for the 442nd Regimental Combat Team during World War II. In 1945, he exposed to himself so that he could direct mortar fire onto an enemy position and single-handedly destroy three machine gun posts. Unfortunately, he was killed in action. After his death, he was awarded the Medal of Honor by President Bill Clinton, the U.S. military highest decoration. Thank you for watching this video and being a part of understanding the Asian American culture proudly sponsored by the Asian community.